20 years ago, September 11th devastated families and communities everywhere. A couple of blocks from the World Trade Center is Chinatown, home to people, small businesses, and a distinct culture. Condé Nast Traveler has published a new piece about how the area is adapting to another global event and how a new generation of young people are writing its next chapter. Before the pandemic, I went to Chinatown in New York's Manhattan to meet a special education teacher who grew up in the neighborhood. This is the only like curved street in Chinatown and so in like Chinese tradition, I believe like demons or ghosts go in like straight lines, but they can't turn corners or uh, go in curves. After September 11th, you know, this area was covered by military men and you couldn't get in or out of Chinatown without an ID. I mean, a lot of people have left Chinatown. Um, part of it was a direct result of 9-11 when you know, these, uh, the textile industries which relied on imports of, you know, textiles, like they, cu they couldn't ship their stuff to the sweatshops here. So a lot of people lost jobs. Um, tourists weren't coming to New York. Um, all these formerly industrial places then became places for, that, that became like condos and other real estate. By 2010, a tenth of Chinatown had moved away. Um, and so and China they never came back. A lot of them never came back. A lot of my friends who grew up here never came back. Was it safe growing up here? Oh yeah. When I was growing up here in the 90s and then early 2000s, like, you know, it was it was all Chinese people. It, it was fun living here. Like it it felt like a real home that people had your back, you know, because like if my mom had to buy groceries, for instance, like. She would ask the lady who ran the chicken shop downstairs to watch us kids. Um, and even after we broke her like swivel chair, her office chair, um, she still watched us because she knew like my mom had nowhere else to go. When you grow up here, like you're your parents' retirement plan. Because like my parents, uh, my mom did odd jobs like working in bakeries and sweatshops and my dad did construction work. They weren't getting 401ks or pensions. Like that just wasn't happening. Um, and so I, I've always thought of myself as a retirement plan. So I was like, oh, I have to get a good grades, to go to college, to get a good job, to get married, to buy a home. Maybe they'll live with me. Um, or maybe they'll live with my older brother because that's the way it's done in Chinese culture. They live with the older son. I am James Chow. You're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.